Okay, this is about Crispus Attux, a black man, the first man to be killed in the American Revolution, and he's called a martyr. But there are people today who try to make him seem like he was a mulatto, and that he's half Indian and half black. Even in Wikipedia, they they show a picture that Paul Revere print, uh, uh, printed of Christmas Attucks, and he was very black in that painting. And also a, the painter Henry Pelham printed the picture of Christmas Attic. He was very black. But in Wikipedia, they were saying that the painting was not was way it was way after the event that happened, and then they mentioned it was before the Civil War to make you think that the painting was years and years after the event. It was only about a couple of weeks after the event happened, and they surely knew what the man looked like, and he was very black. Paul Revere painted the, the pictures. It couldn't be around. The time of the Civil War, nothing like that. And Henry Pelham also painted the picture, a picture, and he had it published a couple of weeks after the event of March 5th, 1770. That's when Bishop Attic was shot twice in the chest. And then they tried to put in their opinion of why Bishop Attic uh, uh, did it. This is really crazy. It shows their desperation. Their desperation, the dishonor of black man. And we can't say what was in Christmas Act mind. We know he by the facts that he was out there. He was the first man, martyr. And five it was five men killed. But Christmas Attic was the first. He was a black man, first one who died in the Revolutionary War. And John Adams, it's interesting that John Adams, who was an attorney, he represented the British. And two of the soldiers who shot Christopher Addicts and the four other was acquitted, and two was found guilty of manslaughter, but their punishment was just to have their hands brand, branded, and they was released. John Adams, who, and then, even through he represented, he was pro-British at the time, and turned, and, and then he became the second president of the United States, John Adams. And it's interesting that he, not being a Mason, not, as far as we know, I know, Yet he was served the time in between two Masons who owned slaves. George Washington, who was the slave owner, the first president, and Thomas Jefferson, the third president. He was a slave owner. So that shows you the connection between slavery and Freemasonry. They both was Masons, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. And John Adams was not reported to be a Mason, yet he did not own any slave, and he would not own any slave, he said. He was against slavery, yet when he served in Massachusetts, he killed a bill that would emancipate slavery in 1777. However, slavery was abolished in Massachusetts in 1780. And John Adams' son, John Christ. Quincy Adams, who became the sixth president of the United States, ran on an anti-Masonic platform because at that time they had an anti-Masonic political party.